what's up you guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel so i've just finished watching the head of house games the black envelope challenge which came with a little twist and then the monday life nomination which was filled up with a lot of betrayal see there's a lot i need to unpack to you guys so let's get right into the video so i am sure by now you guys already know that there's a new government in town and it is none other than obashola aka shawzi from the west side shawzi west i am so so gassed for mashallah although i am a bit skeptical because to my understanding himself and kimo prad they are supposed to leave this weekend remember they are the two last house guests remaining prince and lucy already left this past sunday so i don't know how big brother is going to do it come sunday but i guess we'll have to wait to find out on sunday but for now massive congratulations to him and also after he won it when they were in the lounge he kept on repeating oh baby i miss you referring to his fiance of course saying baby i miss you just hold on one more week one more week and only the labor he caught it and she asked him what do you mean one more week why are you saying one more week and he said no 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 he means um one week to be safe now he has immunity and i was like hmm Hmm, Ile by a smart girl. I don't know if the others got it, Sha. Anyway, onto the HOH games. It was all about putting as much ping pong balls as you can into several containers that were labeled. Big Brother divided them. There were three people in a group and they will call you. They gave them two minutes each. They had two rounds. And after the first round, the six people that qualified were Adekunle, Venita, Omashola, Neo, Cross, and Ad and no i've mentioned adequately neo cross and kimo priors kimo Pra. they were the six people that qualified and, and after they finished playing the person with the highest number was omashola neo was also very close as well but omashola won it so that's how he became the hoh once again massive massive congratulations to omashola and before omashola was even declared as the new hoh big brother addressed the housemates he told them that they have to stop disrespecting their head of house regardless of who the person is you guys already know that these housemates majority of them not all they don't rate the hoh she doesn't matter who the person is they always give one kind of disgusting attitude so big brother told them that moving forward you have to start respecting your head of house if the person sends you on an errand you have to go no matter what they tell you to do you have to do it so i just hope moving forward they do better so marshall picked out his bffs and he picked white money he picked Messi, which by the way Messi is just enjoying you know she has been there back to back to back she was there last week I think she was even there last two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm sure she was there last week. Then, um, Sissy, he picked Sissy. He said because Ike told him to take care of Sissy. And I was like, oh, how sweet. And lastly, he picked Ilebaye. And I was so, so happy because Ilebaye has never been to Head of House Lounge before. That would be her first time there. So I was very, very happy. And in fact, when he even won, I was so sure he was going to pick Baye, which he did. So I am very happy for and her. And then the housemates went back into the house to find the black envelopes. And after they were on three people found one each came up found one her own contained as you were there is nothing there and for adekunle he found the one that has immunity so i am very happy for adekunle congratulations to him the last person was white money which was the twist i was talking about at the beginning of this video oh my god big brother is so petty when white money opened his own guess what was inside automatic nomination even white money screamed oh my god it was so hilarious imagine finding something that you feel like oh this thing is going to be a blessing to you only for that thing to turn out to be a curse so white money was automatically up for nomination even before the life nomination started it was so so funny white money said god forbid he ever looks for this thing again <laughs> i felt bad for you i'm not going to like me but that is so so petty and for the rest of the house i'm going to read out to you guys how they nominated i'm going to tell you guys the betrayals that i was referring to at the beginning of this video and i'm going to tell you guys the ones that surprised me not like it was a betrayal to me but it just surprised me and then the ones that really really annoyed me inside the diary room starting with adekunle adekunle nominated doing messi and alex no surprise there at least to me oh alex nominated venita doing and neo no surprise there doing this was the first person that was annoying me this girl dragged it and dragged it and dragged it she was wasting so much time big brother had to tell her that doing if you do not speak in 15 seconds you risk disqualification although i did not know if big brother meant disqualification from the show or disqualification from nominating i don't know but it was so annoying even big brother was irritated at the end of the day she nominated kimopra soma and venita and since he nominated ilebaye doing and soma i wasn't surprised about doing his own 
because they are no longer friends and the only reason doing did not nominate cc is because she knew that she did not stand a chance if both of them stand up for eviction so that's the only reason why she did not put up cc's name so no surprise there at all anyway neo nominated ilibaye came an angel now this is another person that was really annoying me in the diary room he kept on dragging his feet and dragging his feet big brother had to give him the same warning that he gave to doing that if you do not nominate in 15 seconds eh he ended up calling Ile Baye Kim an angel, Jerry. The next person was Kimopra. Kimopra nominated Doin and Neo. Now, remember that her nomination does not count. She is a house guest, more like a fake housemate. So, Big Brother just asked her that if you could nominate, who would you pick? Two people. And she said Doin and Neo. And this is one of the nominations that surprised me. Although I know her nominations does not count, but when she mentioned Doin, I was surprised because I was under the impression that they've become good friends. I see how they interact and vibe. And even when Doin mentioned her name, I was also surprised. And Doin is also under the impression that Kimopra is a fake housemate. So why would you still go ahead and nominate her when you already feel like she's fake? Why not put somebody else? Anyway, moving on. The next person that nominated was Angel. And Angel is one of the people that was referencing earlier that betrayed her friend. And she's one of the people that really annoyed me in the diary room this girl kept dragging and dragging her feet big brother had to threaten her like doing and neo and tell her that she has 15 seconds to name names and at the end she nominated doing venita and kim now doing zone is the betrayal because earlier in the day doing and angel they made a pact that they were not going to nominate each other in fact doing was even suggesting white money and angel said no she wasn't going to nominate him but they promised that they were not going to nominate each other they even did pinky promise only for angel to go inside the diary room and be Betray doing it was so unbelievable. In fact, fast forward to after the whole um nomination wrapped up, doing was telling White Money that Angel nominated her. I think Angel went to tell her and she was crying to White Money, the same person that she wanted to nominate. It was just so funny to be honest. Moving on, Perry nominated Alex Ilebaye and Neil. Now, this is another one that surprised me. I can't really say it's a betrayal because their friendship is recent, but They've become best friends recently and I'm referring to Neil. When I saw Neil's name there, I was shocked, to be very honest. The next person was Mercy and she nominated Neil, Doing and Kim. Now, Kim's own surprised me because I know they are good friends. And even fast forward to after the live um, nomination wrapped, she was telling Angel that she feels guilty for nominating Kim. So, my surprise was not out of place at all. Anyway, moving on, Ilebae nominated Venita, Pere and Kim. Venita nominated Mercy, Alex and Doing. Now, this is the other betrayal that I was referencing to earlier venita nominating mercy really shocked me because mercy is her best friend in the house so when she mentioned mercy's name i did not believe it now considering the fact that mercy is not up for nomination but she venita is up imagine the guilty conscience she has to live with all throughout the week anyway moving on white money nominated cc ilibaye and venita no surprise there to me cross nominated cc ilibaye and soma soma nominated doing mercy and kim and lastly the head of house omashola nominated Kim and Soma. Remember, he's a house guest, just like Kim Opera, so his nomination does not count. Big Brother just asked him the same question he asked Kim that if he could nominate, which two people would he pick? And he said Kim because he's angry at her and Soma. So after the nomination process was complete, Venita got five nominations, Ile Baye got five nominations, Kim Opera got seven nominations, but because she's a fake housemate, she's going this weekend already, so it doesn't matter. Doing got a whooping eight nominations, and White Money is automatically up like i told you guys earlier soma got four nomination neil also got four but big brother did not include the two of them so the final housemates that are up for eviction right now are ili baye doing venita and white money so let me know your thoughts in the comment section on everything that happened today and let me know who you're going to be voting for also after the live nomination ended the only thing i kept asking myself in fact when they were nominating the only thing i was just asking myself was is it that cross is invisible to these people are you guys not seeing cross because last week they they didn't put him up i don't even think they mentioned him at all this week they did not mention him at least everybody was mentioned but not everybody was up angel got one nomination cc got two cross did not get one single nomination and even angel and mercy they were having a conversation after the live nomination was over and they were still saying that they were not going to put up cross next week and i'm wondering i don't understand why and even perez has said he's not going to put up cross 
So that's how he's just going to scale through to the final. Even during his season, he didn't get a lot of nominations. Aside from Le Corros that kept nominating him back to back, Cross did not get a lot of nominations. So I guess he's just graceful. So people have that kind of grace, Sha. Also, let me know if you think one or two people would be going home and who you think it's going to be. Aside from Kimopra, for Mashola, I'm not so sure because he's now the head of our So on Sunday, we're going to find out how Big Brother will handle that. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos, turn on your post notification button. So you'll be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.